Okay, I want to make this quick video to show some cool things that IXL has going on that we're using in my classroom. First off, I can come to my Excel and go to Group Jam as a teacher. And I use this for teaching the entire class, um, whatever skills we're interested in. Let me pick a student's name really quick. And um, I can, I normally do this for all students, but just for these purposes, I'll just choose one student. Now what I'll do is I'll have all the students go on to IXL and then I will select a skill here, whatever skill I want. In this case, I'm gonna use Eureka Math and we are on module six and we are on topic A, uh, we're actually on topic B, but I'll show you with here. Uh, there's lesson three. So um, module six, topic A, lesson three. And um, let's say I have this student, but I usually choose all students. I'm gonna start the group jam. And what'll happen is uh, whichever students you select, they're gonna have a blue bar come across here and it'll say join the jam. And from there, this will show on their computer screen once they join the jam. And as they get the problems correct, you will see the number here go up. So let's say there's 20 kids in your class, or in my case, 22. Um, as students get it right, you'll see the number of kids that get it right go here, and the number of kids that are getting it wrong will show up here. Up in this upper area, you will see an icon for each student. It won't show their name unless you hover over it. And then you can see whether they're getting it right or getting it wrong. Um, and what I like to do is I like to project this onto the screen or the board at the front of the room. And then we go through it as a class and we'll move to review. And this is kind of how I'll teach a, les a lesson on this and we'll make it harder if we want. If the kids are starting to get it all, I can quickly see that by doing this quick uh, informative assessment to see how they're doing as we go along, they answer the questions. And as it gets harder, they can hopefully handle putting in the answers and we can see how they're doing. Then if they're doing really well with it, we can end the jam. And that will be kind of the way we help to teach the lesson then I come back to uh, my Excel and I go to quizzes. And from here, I can, uh, you can see we took a quiz earlier, 21 of my 22 kids did it. And I'm gonna end that one. So what I can do is I can go to create new quiz and we can select a skill. Again, I'll choose math and I'll select from the Eureka math book. We're set up as that's our math book. Topic A, again, we're gonna do lesson three. And then I add as many questions as I want. Here I will add 10 questions. And now if the kids go over to learning, they're gonna see a um, uh, an area here where this is quizzes when they're in learning. They can click on that and they will see um, whatever name of the quiz that you have put there. So, you know, random name. Usually I would put like module uh, six lesson Six lesson, whatever lesson we're on, in this case, uh, three. Uh, and then we'll enter that, and then the kids will be able to take those quizzes. As you can see right here, I have these two drafts of these quizzes now. I can um, continue editing because I didn't have any students in there, but once I have students in there, I can have them start the quiz, and then we can see how they did. Here, this was. these are just test versions. This was the first one they did. This was the second one we did, and then this was just us testing it out to see how well it would go. So they didn't actually score that low. Um, anyway, it's quite a powerful tool because you can, first off, teach a lesson using the Jamboard, and you can see how they're progressing. And secondly, I can go over to a report, and I can see how each student uh, did on the different quizzes. I can even use them for grades if I needed. It's just a quick way to informally assess where we're at so we can move forward. Uh, I'm finding that these new types of, of programs and lessons that they have online are incredibly powerful and they're changing, uh, they're changing teaching.